Hello. Recently I got some boards in, and uh, one of them is this uh, SMPS board. And uh, today I thought it might be fun to kind of go over um, the build and a little bit about the operation and uh, test it out and see how it works. So um, what we have here is uh, an F SMPS and it's based on the um, FSL206MR chip. So that takes care of uh, some of the aspects of running a SMPS. So let's just start here on the left. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So we have um, just some standard things that you would find in uh, any M SMPS. We have a thermistor for inrush current limiting. We have a fuse. We have a MOV. We have a choke, common mode choke here. Full bridge rectifier. First thing we have a ball capacitor. Then we make it to the chip. We have uh, chip power right here. Um, this particular chip can run without the auxiliary winding. And then we have um, a line sense pin here. And you can set here with these uh, resistors, this divider, a um, kind of a minimum operating voltage. It's a little bit hard on the chip to run at lower voltages. It'll run a little bit hotter. And uh, then we have some, some capacitance built into the uh, feedback line here. Some capacitance built into this sensing line, stabilize things. Okay, so then we have our uh, hotline here from the full bridge rectifier. And uh, that goes in and it'll uh, charge the primary winding here, energize it. We have a snubber network built in to just kind of minimize some of the spikes and transients and stuff you'll see so that doesn't get translated over to the secondary side. Um, we have the auxiliary winding here which uh, is going to power the uh, chip um, under optimal conditions. This, Like I said this chip can run without a uh, auxiliary winding. It can run on its own but it's a little bit less efficient according to the data sheet. So we have a uh, diode and this Zener I kind of added um, I don't think I'll need it, uh, but in some testing with this chip, just on some perf board, I noticed that this voltage can climb, but I think the um, polarity of the windings was off. So, so then we have some capacitance built into here for the, the chip. All right, so um, here we have our isolated feedback. We have uh, the TL431 voltage reference right here. We're setting it to uh, 5 volts here with 220Ks on its sense line. Um, it's going to feed this current to the uh, opto isolator here. We just have a LED to indicate that it's on. We have some capacitance in a inductor, a CLC right here. We have uh, up here um, some another snubber network for the uh, secondary side and uh, that's really about it
All right, everything's all put together. The chip's not on. I'm just gonna test to see if the uh, mains voltage is being rectified. So we're gonna check this cap right here. Um, I have uh, some current limiting and also my isolation transformer hooked up. So I'm gonna power it on and we'll see if the bulb lights Indicating a short, hopefully not, hopefully everything this far is good. Okay, power is on. Let's verify we're getting 120 volts AC. The output. The input, sorry. 120 volts AC. Switch this to DC. Let's turn it back off. Flip it so we can measure this cap. Turn it back on. Uh, let's see, I think the polarity is this way. 100. Sixty-four point eight volts DC. So, a word of caution when working with high energy circuits like this that are powered: be very careful, know what you're doing, don't mess around with electricity, high voltage, without the proper precautions and knowledge of the danger. Turn this off again. All right, I'm going to put the chip in, and we're going to hook up the output and see if we get sparks, smoke, or possibly five volts. I've set this up to be five volts. All right, let's check this capacitor. Waited a minute. See if it's discharged enough. Mm, 50 volts still. So I'm gonna wait another minute and then I'm gonna put the chip in. All right, it's about that time where we get smoke, fire, and burning components, or possibly five volts. Let's turn it on and find out. Wow, look at that, five volts. All right, well, I'm not gonna go into characterizing it and testing it at the moment, but it appears to be working, so that's good. I will eventually do some load testing and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think that wraps up for this video. All right, thank you for watching.